Hey Internet, it's Color Flarty and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Today we're going to collect all the synthesis materials we need so we can synthesize the ultimate weapon. And, well, that could take a lot of time for me, because of the magic power of editing, you guys will likely only see bits and snippets of it. So I've made a small list of the uh, synthesis materials I think I need in order to complete all of the items up to the ultimate weapon, because that's its own separate thing. So first thing we need to do, get some power crystals from these guys, along with bright crystals. And because there are going to be wizards in here, I'm pretty sure we have a good chance of actually getting Donald's super weapon. That would be great if we did. More strength for Goofy. So I figured I'd come here and buy the last weapon we need to. The Onyx Shield. So if we took a look at that, oh man, that lowers our strength by a lot, actually. <laughs> like I said, the Defender, since it's a random drop item, tends to have the best stats for Goofy. Same goes for Donald's weapon. But since we're not... How did I miss this? How in the world did I miss that? Huh, just money. Anyways, because of tra I'm not having much luck in Traverse Town, I'm gonna get the few ingredients I need in Agrabah next. I need to kill bandits, big bandits, and air soldiers. Thunder. Donald gets more HP! No, the ultimate weapon is not like necessary by any means. In fact, power-wise, it's not much better than Oblivion, but it is the ultimate Keyblade. Gives you perfect stats. I at least want to show it off. I mean, I've gone this far in my Kingdom Hearts playthrough, it's already this long, so I figure I might as well make it like one episode longer to get things. Arg! I'm only getting spirit shards! Alright, it looks like all of the Heartless to be had that I want are in Cave of Wonders. I wonder why. There we go. Oh yeah. These are all enemies I want to face. Oh, sure enough, Poise Gem. I think that's the only one we need, as a matter of fact. But we need a lot of power crystals, and these guys are being very stingy about it. Oh, never mind. I take that back. And it does not hurt to have a few extra Poise Gems, just in case. More strength, yeah. I've got plenty of boys gems, so I will leave you guys alone. And I will go to Monstro. Oh yes, Monstro, this looks like a great idea to eat. Eat the fiend of the blue flames coming off of it, what could go wrong? Here we go! These are the air soldiers. Spirit gem number one, alright. Just need two of them. And Goofy gets more AP. Yay! Spirit Gem! You have no idea how long I've had to grind in Monster just to find those, because apparently there's only one room in Monster that actually spawns air soldiers. Alright, so right now we're going to try to get Mystery Goo. To do that, you'll need to use these rare truffles. The easiest way to do that is use Aroga. Never mind. Basically, you need to keep these guys up in the air as long as you can. Okay, wow, this is getting annoying. If you can keep them up in the air for 10 goes, or if I get a combo of 10, then you get Mystery Goo. 
The problem is keeping that combo can be very, very annoying. And difficult. New plan for Mystery Goo. Instead of trying to do the Neverland Rare Truffle Juggle, which I'm terrible at, I'm gonna just try to defeat some White Mushrooms in Wonderland. White Mushrooms can also give you Mystery Goo. And they are much easier to deal with. Alright, I'm gonna try Deep Jungle instead, cause right outside the camp tent, uh, White Mushrooms can spawn. And I think the loading times will be a bit easier. Shiny Crystal, yay! I actually was looking for one of those. Okay, so... Here's what I've learned. Basically, mushrooms uh, spawn randomly. So, and I don't mean you just exit and uh, enter and exit repeatedly. You actually do need to save. So I'm going to save, and then... Soft reset the game. And then we leave the tent and check to see if there are white mushrooms there. If there are, score. We defeat them, save, and then soft reset. If they're not there, we just soft reset. And they are not here. Yes! Hi, little guy. What the heck? You said use gravity on you, so I did. What a jerk. Goofy, will you stop? Stop moving in the way, Goofy. I blame Goofy for that. Goofy is the worst. He always moves right in front of the white mushrooms every time. All right, I'm gonna try striking him white a few times. Yay! Yay! Mystery Goo? Thunder Gem? Thunder Arts? Mystery Goo! Sweet! I'm going to need five total Mystery Goos. Five. Oh, what luck. Okay, so he's cold. Now he wants me to strike him with lightning. Now he's hot. Wizard Arts and Frost Gem. And Mystery Goo! Oh, sweet! Cool. Now... I'll do Gravaga. See ya. Okay, that, apparently that's not gravity. They want me... Is that the cure? Oh, that's Cure! I see! There you go, little guy! Bright Gem! Mystery Goo! Cure Arts! Thank you! Now give me my Mystery Goo! Yes! We're done with Mystery Goo forever! <laughs> Alright, now it's time to get some of the Bright Shards. And the problem with Bright Shards, they're only dropped by Green Requiems. And at this point in the game, there are only two places you can find Green Requiems. And that's the tiny little area of Deep Jungle, and End of the World in the Wonderland segment. And I'm gonna go do the Wonderland segment, methinks. Nice thing is, it's right next to the second egg, uh, save point in here.
I beg your pardon? Oh, that's right, that's just... <sighs> I better not have to fight all this stuff at the beginning anymore. Just so you guys know, this is at the hour recording mark. I'm sure for you guys, it's been less than 20 minutes. But for me, I've been recording for an this episode only, for an hour. I've been recording before this as well. So how many Bright Shards do I have to begin with? I've got two Bright Shards. I think I need five. Let me just double check. Yeah, I need five. All right. So that's Traverse Town. This one is Wonderland. Off to a great start. Yes. Two bright shards, one go. I don't want to get greedy, but it would be amazing if I could get another one. Alright, well... We can always just go back. Yes! Last bread shard! Ooh, and a spare. And another spare, alright. Kill the spare! Here's the thing. I'm wondering if it's even going to be possible for me to reach the first save point from here. Because I fell down a giant room in order to get here. I'm at least going to try. The annoying thing is that you can't warp to your gummy ship from this save point. I don't know why they even put save points in the game where you can't warp to your gummy ship from. It, make, it makes no sense to me. I give up. You apparently cannot climb all the way back up to the top. Instead, you have to go all the way to freaking Final Rest. Alright, let's make some stuff now that we've made a ton of progress. Can't make that. Oh, I need another shiny crystal for that. Okay. What do I need now? Thunder gems. Great. Alright, well... Oh, darn it, I need more bright... No, not more bright shards, no! <sighs> Alright, so I need to get a handle on how many ingredients I need left. So... Alright, so it looks like the ingredients I need left, I need three bright shards, six thunder gems, four shiny crystals, three power crystals, three power gems, two bright crystals, and three gales. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Alright. First thing I'm going to do is go back to the end of the world, because apparently I need to go back there getting more bright shards, and a few gales. So, this will be fun. At least the bright shards appear, uh, get dropped pretty frequently. The gales, on the other hand, not so much. So, this could be a bit problematic. Alright, that's one. Also, I've decided I am going to equip the Oblivion Keyblade again, because it just... That is not the Oblivion Keyblade! <laughs> what the heck?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> that is not Oblivion! That is the Kingdom Key! Will it change when I go here? No? I'm hoping that this is just in terms of appearance and not in terms of actually, like... Yep, and there we go! 
Now I've got <laughs> all the power. Donald, stop a okay. Oh, <gasps> the wizard's relic, yes! Okay, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> Boy shard and a bread shard. Sweet. Oh my gosh, the wizard's relic is so good! Donald, stop casting, stop! Yes! And we get the last Bright Shard! And a Thunder Shard to boot. Okay. The Wizard's Relic, an enormously powerful staff sometimes left by Wizards, raises max MP by two. Wait, what? Only two? I thought for sure it was like raising the max MP by like four or five. I don't know why. Whatever, it's got insane wheel. It's got insane wheel on range and boosts his MP by two. It's really good. And now I believe we have all the Bright Shards we need. Yes! Alright. And there's our first Gale. Sweet. Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh, we get a Mega Elixir. Sweet. Yay, one more Gale left. Oh, there's the other Gale. Sweet. <laughs> Donald's freaking out. Good times all around. Alright. Next, I think we will go to Neverland to get us some power gems. So I believe you get power gems from pirates. Oh, Donald got an extra MP. Sweet. Oh, what's this? Oh, that is not fair. I bet that was a power gem, too. Oh, pirate ships give power gems. Cool. Whoa, that was a big, cool item. And it fell overboard. Ugh! I do not like Neverland's item's tendency to fall overboard. Cool. We just need one more power gem. Let's let them come to us this time. Oh, cool. There's our other power gem. Sweet. We're done. Love as I am to do it, we have to go back to Atlantica now to get some Thunder Gems. We need six of them. At least I know where they appear. They appear right next to Triton's Palace. Ooh, I learned MP Haste? Yes, please. Let's see, what will I take off? I guess I'll take off Aerial Sweep. I don't even really know what that does. <laughs> Yay, Thunder Jam! Alright. Because both the Aqua Tanks and the Screw Divers can... drop them. I've just had very rotten luck thus far. There we go, there's another one. There's free! Yeah, see? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that doesn't do anything to them. I did get another Thunder Gem, though, so yay! Yippee for small favors. I'm gonna take Atlantica in bursts, I think, because too much Atlantica can be detrimental to your health. We need free power crystals, which come from Wyverns. We need, I believe, four shiny crystals, which come from Wizards. Admittedly, Traverse Town's not the best place for that. And then we need some bright crystals that come from the Defenders. So, power crystals. We can search for in this part of the city. Because looky here, we got some Wyverns right here. 
That reminds me, I need to equip, uh, recustomize my thing to have Fundaga again. Power Crystal, yeah! Power Crystal, yes! Power Crystal! Cool. Now we can go to the Fur District and hunt for some defenders. Yay! Break Crystal! Just need one more. I get another defender! Oh, sweet! Well, that's one Thunder Gem. Two to go. Thunder Gem. Nice. Just one more to go. Yay! Thunder Gem! Bum -ba -da -da. We're going to camp with Jane and Tarzan. <gasps> Shiny crystal at last! Yay! Oh man, this is gonna be fun to edit hours of footage to sift through to get only like 20 minutes of actual footage. <sighs> I wonder if that's what vloggers face a lot. Yay, shiny crystal number two! Yay, shiny crystal! Two synthesis materials away from getting everything. <laughs> I need one shiny crystal, and one bright crystal. <gasps> yes! Shiny crystal! Now we can go back to Traverse Town, get the last bright crystal, and hunky-dory, we can make the ultimate weapon. And I can change my laundry, which has been ready to be changed for over an hour now. Also, for those of you who are worried that I'm going to be way over-leveled for the bonus bosses, nah, it doesn't really matter. The bonus bosses are insane. Well, that was lucky! <laughs> First try! <laughs> Trust me, the bonus bosses are gonna be hard regardless of what level I am. Alright. Let's synthesize crystal. What do you mean, not enough ingredients? Oh, I still need another bright crystal? Are you serious? Oh, okay. I could have sworn I had all the bright crystals I needed. Guess not. And I learned MP Rage! And I just realized my BC is down. BC stands for Bambi Count. MP Rage takes two. I will unequip one of the treasure magnets I have. Because MP Rage, you recover MP whenever you're hit. That'll really help. This single episode that you're watching, I have been recording for well over two and a half hours just to get all these synthesis ingredients. It's a big, it's a big commitment, yes. And honestly... I really don't think it's that much very worth it. Because the ultimate weapon is only slightly better than Lionheart, if memory serves. Ah, those doggone defenders. Get it? Because they've got, like, dog shields. Another defender! Could I trade two of those in for a bright crystal? I am rich beyond my wildest dreams, but I cannot get a bright crystal. How is it I have three defenders, but I just cannot get that last bright crystal I need? Arg! How many defenders does it take? I have like 300,000 money! I just want a bright crystal. And I feel like I should have had enough bright crystals to begin with. I wrote down the exact amount, and I've got that many. Where did one of them go? Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Lightning McQueen here! Let us make the ultimate weapon. Oh, and by the way, this is the quick way. Because if you didn't have the, uh... If you didn't start with the shield, 
Ah, uh, you won't learn my lucky strike until later on. I have enough! I- you guys saw me get the bright crystal! You guys saw that! Do I have too much stuff in my s inventory? I have the blood crystal! What is this? Remember, Artie, you're a family friendly channel. But seriously, what is this? I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I had enough bright crystals. Why didn't it count the last two? Maybe saving and quitting will fix that? No. No. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, the game is trolling me so unbelievably hard right now. Well, I have video evidence that my game is cheating me. Because I, I have enough bright crystals. I have four of them, but it's saying I only have two and refuses to increase that counter anymore. And I can't discard anything either. I thought what might be the case is I have too many items in my inventory, so it, there's no room to carry anymore. But I'm only starting to wonder if that really is the case. Okay. Well, I got lucky and got a bright crystal right away. So this should be an easy check. Okay, now it says I have three. That's so weird. Why? It must have been I had too many items. At the very least, say you cannot carry any more items. I would have discarded something instead of just forcing me to do it. Here's the crystal crown. Ultima weapon! Here we go! <laughs> Alright. Ultima Weapon! The ultimate Keyblade raises max MP by 2 and it possesses maximum power and attributes. So, gives me plus 1 strength over Oblivion. And, well, plus 3 MP over Oblivion, because <laughs> it also looks super dang cool. Crystal Cro- Oh my gosh! That is amazing. I am so getting that. And now at this point, I, it is safe to turn off Lucky Strike. And in its place, I will equip Aerial Sweep. Let's see, Donald only has Treasure Magnets, so I might as well keep Lucky Strike on. And that sounds good. All right. This is definitely time to end the episode off here. But seriously, look how sweet this Keyblade looks. It's awesome. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I will see you for the next episode where we will start fighting the bonus bosses. Have a great day, and God bless. And good grief. I never, ever, ever, ever want to get the Ultima Weapon again.